everyone. I am finally back. Two years in the making. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Holly and I have been filming, or I guess I did film, all about my right and left, left uh, hip arthroscopy surgeries. Um, again, like two years ago. So I am here to finally let you know kind of what my end result was um, after having both of those procedures done. Um, so I don't know. I, I think it's taken me so long to make this video because I'm not really 100% sure what to say because am I happy that I had the surgeries? Yes, definitely 100%. But Am I as good as I thought I was gonna be um, when all was said and done? No. Um, I kind of, well, we'll just kind of go into some pros and cons here. I have a, a list here of the good and the bad that I wrote down on my phone. So we'll start with the good. So overall, um, if you've watched, especially my very first video um, as to why I was having the surgeries, I made that it'll be the very first one it was may of 2020 um i would say overall i've had less flare-ups in my back uh on a day-to-day -day basis so for a while i was living in constant pain it was hard for me to ride in cars to work out at all run any sort of thing would kind of throw me into a downward downward spiral of pain in my back I'd say that that is a little bit better now. Not a little bit better. It's a lot bit better. I definitely still have flare-ups and I have times where I throw out my back or I push myself too far and I end up in that situation again. But I would say that's, that happens a heck of a lot less now than it used to. So I would say that was good about the surgery. Um, overall, there's less hip and groin popping. So my hips used to crack all the time especially like inside like my groin area used to crack and pop quite consistently so that does not happen anymore um almost non-existent like i can't even crack them if i wanted to which is pretty good i guess um overall i've found kind of what my physical boundaries are now and i don't really push them so before like i said i was in a lot of pain like every time i would work out sort of thing um, and now I don't really have that, but I also don't push it, if that makes sense. Um, and overall, my flexibility is a lot better in my hips and just the mobility of how I walk, how I can move my legs. So that's all been great. Um, I have full flexibility and movement that I had before the surgery. It took quite a long time, but I'm really back and better than ever. Nothing has like hindered me ever since the surgery. I would say it's most all been good things. Um, what's been bad or like reasons I wouldn't get the surgery again is again, my back still does flare up. It still gets hurt. I definitely thought this was going to be like a catch all, you know, like a hundred percent. I was super hopeful going into this. Um, but realistically like two surgeries were not going to fix years and years and years and years of damage and problems in my back. So, you know. It's good to be positive when you go into this surgery, but also like just make sure you're being realistic for yourself and like setting realistic goals. Cause even today I literally was just vacuuming the house and my back is sore. So some things never change, unfortunately. Um, I still can't run. Um, well, I can run, like don't take it like, okay, you have surgery and you can't run, but I, I don't run because if I do, I still end up in a world of pain and why that is, couldn't tell you. I used to be a marathon runner and now if I run like a mile, two miles, I am in so much pain, like not during, not during, but like after I get in so much pain. So I still don't do that. Um, and overall, the only thing that really changed like physically after the surgeries that's different now than was before I'd say is overall quad tightness. So like the front of my legs, especially on my left leg, oh my gosh, like I've tried stretching, I try foam rolling, but like overall my quads, I never really even noticed them before, but now every time I'm doing like 
mountain climbers or lunges or any ab exercise where you have to like lift up your legs. I feel my quads so much, like they're so tight. And I think that's just from like muscle realignment and pulling and I don't know. But that's one thing that physically I've noticed that is different and in a bad way since the surgery. But um, don't let this scare you. I definitely, again, I'm happy I did it. I have overall less problems. It all worked out. Um, I just wanted to make sure spending the time like I said, I really took almost two years after this to kind of see where my body would be. Um, I still do physical therapy exercises and I try to make sure that I strengthen and stretch my hips and stuff. But uh, overall it was good and I hope for those of you that have been following me all this time and have been asking for updates, I hope that this is helpful for you in deciding on whether you would like to or not do the surgeries. Um, yeah, I cannot believe it's already been two years and so much has happened um, during that time. But anyways, if you do have any questions, um, my name has changed on here. Uh, I did get married, so if you're looking, I know I had a bunch of people messaging me like on Instagram and stuff. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube now. It's now Holly Bollig. So if you want to message me on Instagram, make sure you are messaging and looking for the correct person on there. But anyways, thanks for following. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks guys, bye.